Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels for ESA Web TV, and we're standing on the sidelines of the Berlin Air and Space Show, and I'm speaking with Reinhold Ewald. Now, you are obviously an astronaut, you're wearing the blue suit. Can you tell us a bit about your experiences? Well, um, actually, I, I studied physics and uh, read a lot of science fiction. I would never have believed that I had a chance to actually become an astronaut. That was in the 90s. I was selected into the Europe at the, the time German astronaut corps and flew in 1997, but not on an American vehicle, but to the Russian space station Mir. And I think this is a great opportunity that international cooperation enables us to fly into space. And you went into space more than once? No, I supported uh, a lot of missions. I have been a backup for a 92 mission. Uh, and in 1997, I was able to work three weeks, which is a midterm mission uh, on board of the uh, space station, doing medical experiments. And I have to say that these experiments still are valid today. Now, are you keeping up with the experiments that are happening on the ISS today? I do, yes. I, um, I've been accompanying most of my ESA colleagues into space in uh, various roles. One of them was uh, getting started with the Columbus Control Center, which is in the, the neighborhood of Munich. And the Columbus Control Center keeps track of all the experiments, all the uh, things happening in the Columbus laboratory module. So I was very intimate at, at uh, times with the experiments. I'm looking forward to the next mission, which is Alexander Gerst, doing a lot of uh, good science on board of the International Space Station. And I understand you're also teaching now. Yes, and I can use my uh, experience as an astronaut and the uh, connectivity I still have with the uh, actual flight of uh, astronauts into space for my students, master's students, a class of 60, 80 uh, students uh, in Stuttgart, uh, and I'm teaching astronautics, everything you need in order to fly into space, and space stations. How do you build your own space station? So, of course, being an astronaut yourself and then, of course, being in touch with astronauts on a nearly daily basis, I presume, what do you think is the most important trait to become an astronaut? Well, we saw changes there and I'm, I'm, I have profited from these changes because as a scientist, probably in the 60s, you would never have made it into the astronaut core, let alone as a European. I mean, we, we need to cooperate in order to fly space. So, um, the um, people we picked in the 2009 selection, they were scientists, they were... Um, showing some uh, exploration genes by going out under somewhat uh, adverse conditions, even like Alex Gerst, he's a geophysicist and he studied in Antarctica how volcanoes work. So these kind of people who, who are not easily uh, deterred by, by difficulties, uh, these are the, the core of the core uh, of the astronaut core right now. So you need to have determination. Determination, whatever you do, do it to the end. Whatever you do, stay, stay put with, with, uh, with your decisions. But for all those that want to become an astronaut, the chances are very slim. It's only one and a half year uh, between the flights, so not many uh, astronauts go into space, from Europe at least. So you need to have a plan B. And working on the ground for a space mission is the most thrilling thing after flying yourself. So for the younger generation who, are, of course, do not have the honor of being your students, do you have a message for them, the ones who do want to become astronauts? I mean, spaceflight confronts you daily with, with a multitude uh, of, of uh, d science disciplines, of technical uh, challenges that you have to overcome. Imagine yourself sitting in the night shift as a flight controller and there's the one million dollar question coming to you whether to switch on or switch off a certain device. That's you. That's you soon after your studies. But do your studies well keep put. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And to our viewers, remember to learn more about space or about human spaceflight. Visit our website www.esa.int.